Hello, this is Michael Tracy, and this video is going to discuss how George Mallory's pants were taken on May 16, 1999, in the second search of his body. This fact has not been reported in any of the major English language publications, such as Ghost of Everest, Into the Silence, nor even in the recent book, The Third Pole. This photo was taken from the German language book, To Tort Mount Everest or Fall Mallory by Joachim Hemleb. The photo was up the front of his pants, that is his fly, button up. When Mallory was found on May 1st, the team did a short search primarily looking for a camera and did not specifically look for summit rocks. Wade Davis has seen the video of that search and he described them as crudely tearing at the clothing. Well, not perfect, the May 1st search seems to have been largely respectful, though not thorough nor detailed enough to find items like summit rocks. One of the searchers, Jake Norton, disputes this and feels that if summit rocks were there, they would have found them. I think his statement only demonstrates the Rashomon effect where people tell stories so they, they themselves look better. And you can see this from the ripped up clothing. This photo shows all that remains of the front of Mallory's jacket. The notion that they would have found summit rocks in that ripped up mess is ridiculous. In any case, a video of this search exists and according to Hemlib, it is privately owned by Andy Politz. No nameless corporation is preventing it from being published that I'm aware of. I can think of numerous reasons why the 1999 team does not want it released, even though it would be easy enough to blur out portions so that it could be used by researchers without creating needless sensationalization. But perhaps there is some non-disclosure agreement and we are just not aware of it. On May 1st, they didn't search his pants pockets, as a watch would later be found there on May 16th. On May 16th, Tom Pollard and Andy Politz went to the grave, dug up the body, and performed a second search. Andy Politz had been there on May 1st to search the body, and Tom Pollard had not. The story in the third poll is that Tom Pollard reached into M. Mallory's pocket and found the watch. It completely leaves out that later his pants and what appears to be his underwear were taken. The photo of his lower body layers is next to a photo of all the layers of his upper body, and it appears that all the layers of his lower body were also removed. Noticeably, Mallory's left side pocket, right in the photo, appears to be ripped off. And as with the jacket, there is no possibility that summit rocks would have been found. But seeing this photo of his pants for the first time, the only thing that came to my mind was this. Not assassinate this lad further, Senator. Let's, 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 You've done enough. Have right. you no sense of decency, sir? At long last, have you left no sense of decency? 